Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk about hack to go first. It is a great opportunity to start your open source journey. It is a one month long event and you get a lot of mentors and organizations that can help you kick start your open source journey. So there is a minimum eligibility criteria. You need to make four PRs pull request on repositories that are labeled under hack to go first. If you find particular repository that you are really interested in, you have to first fork that repo. Uh, use github uh, for finding the repository that we find interesting and finding an issue we first have to get it assigned before starting to work on it so you if you get it assigned uh, you will be sure that you your changes would be merged so i have actually labeled two of my repositories under hacktober first because i got some of the mails that they wanted to contribute to them so uh, ria what you can do is you can actually go to my github and actually uh, raise an issue so that we can show all of them. As you can see all the tags, there is Hacktoberfest tags and Python, Java, C++. So these are all the text tags you can work with. So this is a repository of top interview questions from lead code. So what you can do is what you need to contribute here is you can provide solutions in different languages and you can see the template by clicking on any of these folders so as you can see there are a c++ folder and like c++ file and a python file so if if you are a java programmer you can actually add a java file and i will merge that so as you can see yeah so you can raise an issue here so to create a new issue just click on new issue then say Java version of rotate image and then uh, there should be a Java version for rotate image. It's a problem, right? Or mm -hmm. just we have to rotate the image. Nice. rotate image problem and where is the problem statement yeah the link is in the on the question statement like where is c plus plus and python files so this is Select how you submit. actually raise an issue so she's raising an issue ki abhi yahan pe java file nahi hai wo honi chahiye so yeah just submit she yeah, has to just can. submit the new issue to be clear missing java version of rotate there should be a java version submit new issue you can see there is markdown support in this as well to, uh, to enhance readability. And just as you create the issue, if you want to work on this issue, just comment, I want to work on this issue. And uh, you can either tag the repo owner or just comment it like this. But to get a quicker response, just do edit it. Uh, the person name usually appears, the uh, repo owner. So just tag him or her and then write uh, this issue. Please assign this to me. Yeah. Yeah, you commented it and there must be a notification, both email and GitHub notification to the repo owner. So, yeah. Yeah. So as I have got the notification for this one, so what I will do as a repo owner is. Yep. So you can see I have got a reply to go ahead and the reply isn't necessary. If you can see in assignees your name, it means the issue has been assigned. And you, if you no longer want to work on this issue or you are facing some trouble, so just unassign yourself by clicking on this and someone else can uh, get it assigned. Also, while creating an issue, you can add labels. The repo owner can also add labels and respective milestones or whatever details he or she wants to wants you to work upon. So they can add it in the comment itself. Yeah. And now what she can do is she can actually go to the repository. She can actually add the file. And then she will make a pull request. Okay, yeah, let's do it for now. 
So for creating a pull request, first you have to fork this because this is not your repository. So you need to first go to your repository to make a, a like to push your changes and then you can uh, create a PR uh, that could be merged into this repo. So I'll be forking it to my account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see now it's uh, my username. Uh, then there is this repo name and it also shows where you have forked it from. So I need to add a file in here. So I'll just show you first the web interface. Uh, it's pretty much easy as well. Uh, so what you can do is just cl click on add file, create new file. And in here in rotate image, you want to create that uh, file. So you can type. So yeah, let's, let's create the solution for this, for Java for this question. So what you can do is, java yep so we'll be writing out code here okay <laughs> let's comment create yeah okay we we are gonna create this and we can commit this new file you can either create a new file if you are working on multiple issues that separates your branches and it helps like it, it, it will be convenient for you only. Otherwise, you will yourself get lost that uh, I did changes in this issue and they, they are get, getting more somewhere else. So it's better to always create a branch since I just have to show one issue. So I'm just directly committing into main. So because I just have to get one change, uh, change merged right now. So commit new file. You can add a comment or a description if you want. So yeah, I have added file. You can see it's present out here and let's see this one. You won't be able to see it right now here. So for that, uh, like now you like made all the changes. So you just go back, go to pull request, new pull request. Okay, yeah, so I am like placing, like having this like uh, pull request to Kushbu's repo and to the master itself. So there might be a case when uh, different base branches are there for different, uh, like different uh, changes. For example, right now I'm working with a girl script printer of code. So there have this multiple branches and each participant has to make pull request to that particular branch. So yeah, so right now it's master for master. You can see all my changes here. And now I'll just create a pull request, write uh, uh, appropriate uh, like the comment and description. So uh, create a Java, solu uh, Java solution, Java solution for rotate image. I'll be doing this and in the, uh, it's always good to write uh, fixes and uh, with hash, the issue number. So as you can see, there are just two issues. So it was easier to find missing Java version for rotate image. So it means that now this is fixed so that the rep owner can fi also find it easy to uh, close that issue when it's uh, when the pull request is merged. So I'll write a few more lines, added Java solution for that problem. Yeah, it's done allow edits by maintainer if if there are some edits like uh, you are missing on a <laughs> uh, semicolon first you should always test your code before pushing but yeah even if you do that if the maintainer is able to find them they they can make edits so that's why you always uh, it's good to enable the edits by the maintainers and then you just create pull request yep pull request is created you can see in pull request, your pull request will be there. And it also shows that it fixes this issue so that uh, they can, <laughs> they, they know which actual uh, issue we are addressing. And uh, if they are not replying, uh, it's been some time. So just tag them to give them email notification on <laughs> notification. So that's what I do to get my issues resolved uh, like faster. faster. So. Hmm. 
yeah Please so as you it. can see uh, you made your first pr and this is what you have to do ria do you have a hacktoberfest account yes just a sec yep so as you can see that uh, it has been merged it uh, like it says merged commit and it also says that pull request has been closed even if it's closed you can comment or like uh, if you have any follow up questions if anyone else wants to uh, know more about the particular pr he or she can comment out here and get to know more and similarly you can see that now this issue is also resigned and it's been closed the issue i created so that's how it works um also one more thing yeah let's let's now check so whenever uh, this pr gets merged your pr gets merged you can also always delete the branch so they usually uh, give that pop up if you uh, want to delete this branch you can delete it now it's safe to delete so yeah uh, and let's have a look at our hacktoberfest account nice fir to aa gaya hoga i guess yeah so we have to start hacking you can sign up or sign in i am already created one so why are you signing up you should log in no yeah i'm finding <laughs> yeah aa gayi they don't have sign in right you sign up and they log in yeah so this is the rias dashboard and as you can see there is nothing in progress because it will take time to yep. refresh so, yeah so even if you register after making a pr it's fine uh it gets counted so there is this one in progress that's this i just submitted this uh it matures in 14 days so just remember to make your four prs 14 days before because it takes 14 days to mature okay so if you don't do that if you don't do that they might not count it so yeah what is the maturing uh, yeah. period so is it like getting reviewed or something no basically what happens is there are certain pull requests that are merged but later on uh, there might be some issues like, yeah some issues or maybe that wasn't a legit contribution there was just uh something really minimal and uh, that particular uh, rep owner realized it later on so he or she can say that uh, no we like this this is not good for hacktober fair so like it requires this 14 days maturing period to like validate and verify that your pr remains there because like what oh, one case that can happen is you push a uh, pr it gets merged they then uh, like uncommitted and then push the same pr again like this four times that might also count as four contribution but it actually one so this 14 days maturity period also gives that time to first like get your pr mature like this duration this pr has been merged and also uh, <laughs> prevents those misuses or any loopholes that one can find <laughs> i hope all of you find it useful and you do something also don't forget to participate in the giveaway i'm waiting for your participation and i know you all want to get google test series and uh, if you participate in hack to go first if you make your prs you can tag both of us on linkedin on instagram we will be really happy to see that and we are going to see you all super soon thanks a lot riya for joining in thank you it was great talking to you and also if you are looking for more issues or report to contribute uh, gdsc google developer student club for different colleges are also participating so for us also many repositories are open there are so many repositories you can contribute to so yeah go ahead and kick start your journey yeah all the best all the best bye